Dan Manginoy is our guest. He has been in real estate for almost a quarter century now. Started very young, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can't. Really, really, your, really young. That's your excuse, you know, yeah. I asked he's for also, some more hair, but you know, you get <laughs> He's also the author of a new book called Wake Up, Jumpstart the Life You've Always Had in Mind. We talked about someone who's in foreclosure. Mm -hmm. Not only is it a tough situation uh, financially, uh, maybe as far as your family's concerned, mm -hmm. but it's also embarrassing to other people. One of the things you talked about in the first segment is this whole issue of self-image and how mm -hmm. important it is in, in, yeah. in our society. How does somebody get you know, through that, you know, the, the natural embarrassment of yeah, being Yeah, there's, there's an embarrassment factor, and, and people have that gauge in them that it's difficult to push outside their box, especially, let's say you have that feeling of now I have to go ask someone to rent a home, um, and I have to let them know that I'm losing my house in foreclosure mm -hmm. or my credit's bad, and, mm -hmm. and it's, a, it's a feeling. It's a, you know, there's different feelings you get, and a lot of people will ask me, you know, you're just in sales, and it's great for salespeople when you motivate them, but I believe everybody's in sales, and how, why I believe that is because if you've ever been on a job interview, you're in sales, and if you've ever been on a date, you're probably in sales. I mean, you're not going to go on a date and say, no, I don't have a job, and I'm a loser, and I'm not a good guy. Yeah. No, you're in sales of some cases, and in that case, it's a horrible situation, and I call it the winner's feeling. And what that winner's feeling is, is that's just about before you're about to do something outside your box. It's that feeling in your mm -hmm. stomach where it starts churning, your hands start sweating, your voice starts cracking a little bit. You're going to do something that you wouldn't normally do. I call it the winner's feeling because that's just when you're about to win because you're going to push yourself beyond what you thought you can do. And the tragedy of what you're talking about, unfortunately, they have to push themselves to completely outside their comfort zone to the honesty to say, I made a mistake or whatever happened in my life, this is where I am now. And the feeling when they get through that, it's like breaking through barriers for people. When I explain to people on even a job interview, embrace the winner's feeling. It's gonna happen because that's just about when you're gonna win. Something good's gonna happen when that churning happens and the sweat happens and your palms are a little sweaty. <laughs> that means you're doing something different than you're not used to. Because you can keep going to the same restaurants and you can keep going to the same places and stay in the comfort zone in your box of life. <laughs> but life's for living and there's too much fun to be had not to push yourself just a little bit. And I'm not talking about going taking over the world. I'm just talking those little things that get you uncomfortable. That's where the winning happens. Mm. Okay. So your website is attitude through discipline. discipline. Dot com. What Two does ways. that mean? Well, attitude through discipline, I, I mean, the word discipline is a tough word because no one really wants to feel disciplined. But I think your attitude, you can have a great attitude to your disciplines. Um, I'm very disciplined in a lot of things on my health, working out, worth ethics, and maybe a little overboard in some cases. And, and the disciplines I have groom the things I do in my life. But keeping your attitude it's easy to keep a great attitude when you're disciplined on the things that you know is right. Everybody knows right and right and wrong. It's, it's, it's not really too many people know when they're doing something wrong. They pretty much know what's wrong. When you call in sick and you're not sick, you pretty much know what's wrong, right? I mean, it's, there's, no, there's no gray area there. So that, that's the difference. I mean, most people are, you know, that's how you feel and mm -hmm. what you think of it. And the attitude through discipline is just that. It's keeping your disciplines to your life will change your attitude immensely. Mm -hmm. And it's a matter of figuring out what those disciplines are. Though. They are, yeah. absolutely. And everybody has different, I can't give you your goals. I can't tell everybody, here's your goals, because your goals are different than mine. There's no doubt about it. What you feel you want to, success in life is different than what I feel success in life. And when you can define what your success is, it's easy to write a floor plan to see what disciplines you have to hold to get to what you feel success is. Dan, thanks so much for being with us. Thank and, you so much for having me. Again, attitude through discipline. Dot com. Com. Very yep. good. If you missed that, you can go to our website, which is www.cox3.com, and click on the Cox Forum link. That's where you'll find all the contact information. You can also email us at forum at cox.com. And, of course, we invite you to join us next week. Our guest for the entire show will be the artist Wyland. He'll be talking about his new clean water challenge that he's bringing to our local schools here in Orange County. Until then, thanks for joining us here on Cox Forum.